I thought, well, I'm a sex object anyway. I might as well make money from it. It was as though I felt I couldn't do anything else. Everywhere I look, I'm being told that my main source of power is my sexual power. My body's the best thing I have to offer. And so to use those things in your job is empowering. For men who visit lap dancing clubs, enjoyment primarily comes from handing over the money, not from the dance itself. The men just see you as an object. Increasingly, you learn to despise them because of the way they perceive you. For me, I suppose the question is always, why would you want somebody to take their clothes off for you when you know they don't really fancy you, when you know it isn't what they really want to do? I think men are fed just as much BS about their sexual identity as women are. I don't think that it makes anybody happier. It fosters sexual violence. It is damaging even if people are doing it voluntarily. I chose it and that's part of the problem. Even if lap dancers did make loads of money, it'd be irrelevant. Paying a lot for something doesn't make it all right. The point about lap dancing clubs is to ask what they represent culturally and what they do to all of us, not just women working in them.